Uh, my name is Rose Scott, and I'm a reporter and producer with Public Broadcasting Atlanta's WABE 90.1 FM. For me, on a personal level, I know sometimes as journalists, we're supposed to separate, you know, personal emotion, uh, personal attachment with stories. Uh, I think sometimes that's hard to do, but I think it's because for a lot of us, it, it, is, it is a personal reason as to why we're even in the industry. Uh, I was raised by two wonderful foster parents who uh, raised me from the age of two years old to where I am now, as far as I like to say. A great um, success. They have passed on, but for me, it's about telling stories for a community of people who may not have that opportunity. That could be the underserved, that could be minority, that could be rural, that could be black, white, Hispanic, anybody, um, the immigrant community. But for this particular issue, I think what's important is that we're able to disseminate information that allows people then to make up their own mind. Do they want to be involved? Do they want to find out what's going on in their area? Maybe they don't have an... Maybe, maybe they're not even prompted to do anything, but at least they're aware. And my dad used to always say, if you don't tell me, I can't be aware of it. So even though I didn't get the new car that I wanted, he was aware that I wanted a new car. Uh, Counts for something, I guess. <laughs> but, but it's so true. And so it's not my job to make people do anything. Mm -hmm. It's not my job to even make people have an opinion. But it is my job to report on an issue that for a long time was underreported and I believe was being looked at as something because it's so heinous, it's so dark and it's so dirty. Taboo. You know, we don't want to talk about that. Sex and our children. Why not? Because it is our children. And so for me, that's my main goal is to disseminate the information highlight the organizations that are working on this issue, uh, highlight the lawmakers that are trying to do something about this issue, and maybe even those that are opposed to it. I, I believe in being fair. I believe in the whole opposable thumb issue, and that is to present both sides. And then again, people can make up their own mind and whether or not they want to be involved, or whether or not it's something that they think is important that prompts them to do something else. Because at the end of the day, if only one person says, wow, I didn't know that, well, now they know. Right? And, and then, of course, my personal um, attachment to that is, at the end of the day, if that person says, wow, I didn't know that, and I'm going to do something, I'm going to get involved, then I think that's an extra bonus. Yeah. Have you met uh, with much opposition in your field of work to either discussing the problem or, or maybe a viewing children as victims? I think, I won't say opposition, but, you know, certainly have been asked, well, don't some of these girls, or even young boys, but mostly girls, don't they want to be out there? Or mm -hmm. If they're a runaway, it's for a reason. Mm -hmm. And I always say, well, if they are a runaway, let's look at that issue. Because it's probably either going to be, and I could be wrong, but the studies show that child is maybe, maybe being abused. Had a reason to run. Right. Mm -hmm. And or, or maybe this child's parent didn't have a resource to help him or her. You know, maybe it was just a, a case of mom or dad won't let me go to this party, so I'm going to run away with my, to my best friend's house. And that may have been the case, but that child may not have known that the best friend was involved in something, or the neighbor next door. Because they're very young and inexperienced, right. and they are children. That's the whole issue. Right? That's the whole point, right. Yeah, so. okay. Well, Rose Scott, thank you very much. Thank you, and thank you for what you do.